blood flows through the human body pumped by our heart, the same holds true for Catalina's middle ranch area. This is the site of the island's main freshwater source, the Thompson Reservoir, which pumps water around the island to sustain life. It's also home to Middle Ranch itself, where the biology of everything Catalina is studied. Here is where the fragile ecosystem of this enormous landmass is brought into balance. So we're in the interior of the island. Besides Middle Ranch and the Conservancy, what else is around here? A whole lot of native, undeveloped habitat until you get to the coastline. If you're out of town, you're able to get to some locations that are pretty interesting and unique. So of course we have our remote beaches, such as Little Harbor, that you can take the Conservancy shuttle to, and you're going to see a bunch of palm trees, a bunch of date palms, and you might think, is this Tahiti? Well, it is supposed to look like Tahiti. That's actually where Mutiny on the Bounty with Clark Gable was filmed in 1939, as well as Treasure Island. Little Harbor is an original movie set. What's the primary role of the conservation department? The goal is to steward the lands. We're trying to restore and manage the wildlife in balance with the human population. Full-time gig? Full-time gig. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The history of Middle Ranch starts with the Banning Brothers in the 1890s when they constructed this road that is running behind me. They ran a stagecoach through here and this was the site of original food production on the island. They planted an orchard and this really became more of a true ranch. <laughs> Hillary, you brought me to a pot farm. <laughs> it is, it's a bunch of pots. We are in the James H. Ackerman Native Plant Nursery. Now, why is it important to maintain native plants on the island of Catalina? Because everything is attached. Mm -hmm. Everything evolved together. And so you take one thing out of an ecosystem and especially on an island, things can collapse like dominoes. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know how important something is until it's not there. Just by protecting it, the island is not only regenerating with a little help from its friends, but we are seeing species that haven't been seen in 10, 15, 20 years. And you can't visit a ranch without saddling up your trusty steed and hitting the dusty trail. And I found just the guide to take me, Wendy Hart, Vice President of Catalina's Saddle Club. How long have you been riding for? I've been riding all my life, but I've been riding the island for 38 years. What is it about Catalina that's so special? There's nothing that can beat riding up on top of a ridge and looking down, you see the ocean down below. You can see bison grazing. A little fox maybe runs across in front of you on the trail. It's heaven. So this is the Thompson Reservoir that I've been hearing so much about. Yes, this is the drinking water for Avalon. If you don't have water over here, you don't have the horses, you don't have the bison, you don't have the plants, you don't have anything. The view that I have from here, this landscape has probably not changed for generations. There are very few places that are left untouched, especially a desert island off the coast of Southern California. And I think that's really special. But Middle Ranch has not always been the only center of equestrian activities to the island. El Rancho Escondido, the Wrigley's private ranch, once housed an Arabian horse program featuring a show for visitors of all ages. This is a tradition Jeff Rusak and the Wrigley descendants are working hard to revitalize. Visitors would come in from Avalon, they'd get on a bus and come see the interior and this would be one of the great stopping areas for them and they'd have an Arabian horse demonstration put on for them. We're hoping to bring that history back. Currently, the ranch is home to the island's only vineyard. We try and keep Catalina Island in tune with the times. And winemaking and grape growing have taken off in California. It's been, become a mainstay. So we thought, what would be a nice addition to the Arabian Horse Program that would basically give people an opportunity to actually taste the fruits of Santa Catalina Island? And what is it about this location that makes this the ideal terroir? It's a cool climate here. We get a very steady sunrise and sunset over the vines and with this ocean completely surrounding it. We just have an absolutely world-class growing environment. So we're hoping to just bring this place back as a wonderful stopping point for those that tour Catalina Island 
and have them enjoy, hear the history, and experience the wonderful interior of Catalina Island. So I've experienced the wildlife in Avalon, and I've got to see how majestic the wildlife in the interior is. What's going on on the other end of the island? Well, if you keep heading that way, you're gonna run into two harbors out on the isthmus, and it's a real slice out of time, an unincorporated village. Perfect. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.